So, I added a script in for uh, the Artisan software, and I thought I'd show you how to hook that up. And as you can see at the moment, I have my compute stick hooked up on the Thinking Man, and we're going to log in here uh, locally. So, we'll be using a profile named Roast, and all these instructions will be based on that. So, uh, let's get started. Gonna log in. And first, I'm going to uh, start the terminal roast. Basically, this is all the interface for the Artisan software is built on top of the terminal roast. So, we'll need to go into that directory, into our terminal roast DB directory here. And we'll need to uh, run this. I'm going to uh, go ahead and run this manually again, similar to the way that I did this in the previous video. I'm going to go ahead and start the naming service. And since I just booted this up, I'm going to go ahead and actually, we'll just go ahead and run the uh, roast control. I'm sure it's going to work fine on the test. I've tested this many times, so uh, got to do the pseudo password. And it's connected to the roaster. And now I can uh, start my artisan software, which I'll need a new terminal. And to start that, the command is artisan. And that takes a little bit to come up. But I have to do the configuration locally. Um, I can run this remotely. But uh, to do the configuration, it's got to be done uh, locally. Because the drop down menus don't work. But let's see. So basically, you're going click, to click on the config here for the device. And we're going to go down to where it says program. I'm going to select program down there. And I'm going to click the select here and I'm already in the directory that I want to be in but basically what I would do is go to my my home roast where I've installed my terminal roast DB go into the commands directory and the one on top there you know it's it it's called get artisan temp so that's the command that you want to run to get the temp from terminal roast into artisan so we'll open that and that is our command for the external program selected there. We'll do an OK there. And if I do a on here on the software, you can see right over here I get a 150. That's the same as the 150 over here. I can do a start and I will get the buttons that you get for Artisan down here. And it will start plotting right there at 150 and I can do a charge if I want it's gonna put that in there and basically you can keep marking these um, actually now that I have this set up and I have it communicating with the terminal roast DB I can um, set this up and run this remotely and we'll do a roast and I'll show you how that works but first of all I just want to show you how to uh, set that up in the uh, the config here so uh, we'll go ahead and shut this down and uh, take it out in the garage and then we'll run it remotely so what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, log in remotely and first we're going to start the terminal roast using uh, roast is my user here and we're going to go into the terminal roast db directory and I'm going to go ahead and just run the startup shell and it's prompting me for the password pseudo password And we are connected to the server, and the terminal roast DB is running remotely. So, 
to start the artisan, I need to open another putty window. Okay, same guy. Now you will have to have Xming installed and running. Uh, there's a setting in putty that you have to set up. Uh, see my video on uh, running open roast on over the network for more details on that. I'll leave a link to that. So we're gonna log in as roast again. And the command is going to be artisan ampersand. And it's going to take a little bit for it to fire that up. And here we go. And since I've set it up, I should be able to just turn it on. And I'm getting my 150 for the temperature. Let's see if I can can modify this window a little bit I believe there we go so I'm gonna move him up there I'll leave him there uh, actually we'll, yeah and then I'm going to uh, turn on my start my browser window here with the web roast DB We'll make him nice and small. Actually, we'll take this, put this down here, so you'll be able to see that. See that? See that? So I'm going to go ahead and uh, start the artisan. And I'm going to go ahead and run my French roast. You're going to do the run recipe there. And I'm going to go ahead and hit the charge on here. That's when we started it. So, I got Thermal Roast run, DB running here, the Web Roast DB here running the roast, and I have Artisan. Um, basically, it's recording my roast data, as you can see on here. So, uh, we could go take a look at the roaster out there in the uh, out there in the garage. So here's the SR700 fresh roast in the garage with the Intel compute stick hooked up, but it's just running remotely. It's running the server for the web roast and the terminal roast, and for the artisan is all running on there. So we're just starting here. Uh, we'll go back in and take a look at the uh, what's going on with the artisan. All right, so it kicked in the second part. I'm going to call it the end of the dry. And we'll uh, basically have a marking there. So we're just getting the first crack, so I'm going to say start first crack. Marking the end of the first crack. Probably marked the end of that first crack a little early, but uh, does seem to be a pause here between first and second. starting to pop again so I think we're starting to get into second crack I'm gonna go ahead and mark second crack on my uh, artisan all right so we're getting into the second crack here so we can start second crack all right so there's about a minute left in the roast, I think we're pretty much done with the end of second crack. So there's the cooling. So we're going to click the drop. Uh, 
And you can see that it is cool in there. And I'm going to go ahead and do uh, cool again once we get back to 150. Because it's not going to record below that. And there we are. Back to 150. So I'm going to go ahead and call this cool again. About a 16 minute roast there. And uh, I think I can go ahead and save this. Off. Uh, There's my roast, and I know if I do, if I reset this, it'll prompt me with the save, save the changes, and this window does work, and we'll call this, ah, uh, French roast for YouTube, yay. All right. Thanks for watching. That's uh, how you can run the Artisan with the Fresh Roast SR700 Roaster uh, using the uh, internal temperature probe hooked to the Artisan. All right.